Two laps to go. Reagan on the inside. Dylan on the outside. Green flag back in the air. Again, they could be racing to the overtime line. Side by side as they go through one and two. Once the leader crosses the overtime line, if a caution comes out, the race is official. They're going to get to it. They do. Now the fight back to the finish. They've got a lap and a half to go. Here, he comes. Here comes the 17. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., a power move on the inside. He takes the lead. David Reagan saw that line coming from the top, thought he needed to block that. Stenhouse had such a run on the bottom, he didn't get the right car blocked. Stenhouse Jr., white flag in the air. One more time around. Michael McDowell in the 95 running second. A slide by the 24 of Chase Elliott. That's before they get into turn one. The caution hasn't come out yet. They want him to be able to race back to the checkered flag. Paul Menard now moves up to second. Clint Boyer is in third. Clint Boyer trying to find a line, trying to get some momentum. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. wants to stay right on the double yellow line. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. looking for his second win in the Cup Series. He's going to get it at the biggest stage. Stenhouse Jr. wins at Daytona. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. coming into the 2017 season had never been to Victory Lane in the Monster Energy Cup Series. His career almost ended in the Xfinity Series when Jack Roush sat him because he was wrecking too many cars. It was a wake-up call for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He knew he had to focus more. He went on to win two Xfinity Series championships. That propelled him into a ride in the Cup Series. And now he's making the best of that with his second win of 2017. Steve, the people behind the scenes matter so much. Remember who oversees the restrictor plate program for Roush Fenway. Jimmy Finney, longtime crew chief in the garage. He oversees this program. He's brought speed to their cars at Daytona Talladega. they've been able to see here at Daytona. Right on the finish line. He's climbing out of the car as he's doing the burnout. climb out and have a better listen to the roar of the crowd. Look at the celebration on top of the car. His second Sunoco checkered flag of his career and the second of 2017. And Marty Snyder's down there with him. How about that? Ricky Stenhouse wins the last two restrictor play races, wins it at Talladega, and wins it here tonight at Daytona, taking his helmet off after the big celebration. Ricky, were you surprised to let the 38 left that bottom open for you? 
Yeah, it's tough out there. I left the bottom over for the 13, and I thought I gave the race away there. But, um, wow, these guys. I kept my Talladega car, told them to build a new one. They built the fifth, third, fourth. It was really fast. We won the Firecracker 400, man. That's awesome. Uh, been coming down here since 2008. Came in 2006, one time with Bobby Hamilton Jr. And uh, it's cool that uh, we put it in victory lane, got our second win this year. What do you want to say to these fans? They're hearing you right now, Ricky. Love it. Thank you for coming out here, everybody in NASCAR. Woo, America, 1776. We are the champs. All right, we'll see you in victory lane, all right? Thank you. All right, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. celebrating on the start finish line. Obviously celebrating with the fans as well, Rick. What a great opportunity the fans have here to be able to experience that win with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He's on his way, though, to, once again, the most coveted real estate in all of racing. He will go to Victory Lane at Daytona International Speedway. We're going to hear from him again there.